Chief Education Officer in the Department of Education, Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer. The government of St. Lucia continues to make strides towards achieving public sector modernization. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought to the fore the significance of digital technology in the workplace, which can improve efficiency and productivity. The government is working assiduously towards this via the online platform DigiGov. We get details from Homer DeMarc. Digital modernization is a key agent of change in the operations of the public service post-pandemic a conversation that is amplified on the heels of Public Service Day 2021. The COVID-19 pandemic has emphasized the necessity of digital technology in the workplace and has highlighted when used efficiently, technology can vastly improve productivity. The government of St. Lucia continues to work prudently towards achieving public sector modernization. Significant strides have been made via the online platform DigiGov. Marlon Nassus is the Director of Public Sector Modernization. Digital technologies will fundamentally and continuously change how we operate, how we do business. And that is, government has not been spared that either. And uh, as a result, um, we, we see ourselves focusing heavily on digital transformation and how over time this digital transformation can assist us in providing better services to the public. So uh, we, we do have that transformative type of activity within the government and um, we're hoping that this project, this, this, this process can then be the catalyst for um, how, we, we, um, how technology would impact um, our society and um, our people as a whole. The DigiGov platform facilitated over 10,000 online driver's license applications after only one year of operation. Another public service agency which will soon benefit from government's modernization efforts is the Civil Status Registry. The entity will experience complete automation of its vital records management system and digitalization of its operations through DigiGov. Valinda Peer is Registrar of Civil Status. Digitalization will serve um, to increase the accessibility of services. It will increase that exponentially with emphasis at the convenience convenience to the customer, that's what we were really focusing on. For that reason, we would like to encourage customers to utilize the online platform once it's introduced so that um, they can access it via their electronic device any and everywhere. We anticipate an, a decrease in the long lines and waits at the civil status registry and we are also expecting an increase in the online expedited services via the DigiGov platform. Customers will also be able to monitor and track the status of the application using the DigiGov um, platform and there will be a two-way communication, whereas the civil status registry would be the one that was informed of processes as it happens, but now the customers would be able to be, have an input in what is happening because they would be able to receive status updates as it happened on the status of the application. This shift in operations will lead to the effective decentralization of the agency's services. So persons within the various communities are expected they will be able to um, access the civil registration system from various communities and the customers will have the option not only to apply online but also to pay online. For customers who do not wish that option, they also can go into the various locations um, for example, Viewfort, Sufre, to name a few, and access the civil registration system using service bureau agents and um, to be able to pay online. So we are excited about that opportunity given that it's aimed at improving convenience, facilitating convenience to our customers. It will save time, it will save costs, persons will no longer require face-to-face -face contact with the registry if they utilize that platform. So we are really excited about such an opportunity. A fundamental consideration during this undertaking is the legal reform to protect customers' information. Amendments have been made to the Electronic Transactions Act and efforts are underway to improve the enforcement of the Data Protection Act. From the Government Information Service, I'm Huma Dimak reporting.